All right, welcome back to Kirsty's virtual classroom. This week you're working on lab 13, which is radiometric dating. So this is broken up into two parts, um, or two big parts, and then there's a coming together part, relative dating and then absolute dating. So this first part is the relative dating portion. So make sure that you really review all of the examples in the lecture um, beforehand. I know the lecture video is a little bit long, but it will definitely help you when you're going through trying to identify what type of um, principle we're looking at, whether it's supervision, original horizontality, how to tell um, what's older or younger. Um, but some of that information is listed here for you just to give you a background of all the different um, principles of geology to kind of relate the different layers in the rocks. Okay, and then it gives you an example diagram here showing you what event comes in what order, what the description of the event is, and what principle tells you um, which order they are in. Okay, so the first question was just a warm up looking at a deck of cards instead of um, rock units, and it's got a question there for you and a couple, a couple other questions. And then there is a review of what the law of superposition is. Um, if you forget, you can look it up in your textbook. You can go back to the lecture video, or you can look above in the first intro. Okay, then you've got one cartoon here, and it's going to ask you a series of questions. Um, you're not necessarily going to have to put everything in order like you see here, but I will ask you to relate specific things, like this first one is A or N, which one is older. Okay, so then you just have to look at A and N and determine which one you think is older. Okay, then there's some other questions about that diagram. And there's another diagram here, and this one will have you put them in order, but this one's a little simpler than the first diagram. So your youngest layer is going to be number one, and your oldest layer is number seven. And all you have to do is click the drop down and pick whichever one you think is the youngest, and then your oldest will be at the bottom here. Okay. Part two is absolute age dating. So this is when you're going to start actually doing a little bit of math, but it's not too bad. So you have a chart here that tells you... Um, what radioactive substance has what approximate half-life and then you're going to use this to answer the questions so this first question says suppose there are 500 atoms of radon 222 after 16 days how many parent atoms are left so you would go up here and say okay so radon 222 has an approximate half-life of four days so four days goes into 16 four times so you need to divide 500 by 2 four times, okay? So that would be 500 divided by 2, that's 1, so that would be 250. Divided by 2, divided by 2, divided by 2. So you do that four times. So this is four half-lives that this has been through. If you have trouble with this, go back to the lecture PowerPoint and review the... Um, the examples at the end of the PowerPoint, I go through some examples of this. And then if that doesn't help, um, feel free to reach out to me in office hours or on Discord, or you can email me, message me. Um, that way you know how to do this. But basically all you're doing is dividing by two or getting rid of half of the atoms every half-life, okay? So you do that for the following questions as well. And then you have a graph that you'll answer this question for. So if only 25% of the carbon-14 atoms remain, how old is the sample? So amount of carbon is on your y-axis, and your x-axis has the time in years. Okay. Then you have a video for um, radiometric dating. Normally we would do this in class, um, where you all get to watch m and flip over um, and count the decay of them or the flip of them. Okay, so you'll watch this video, and then you'll put in, this is a numeric answer, what the percent of parent atoms were decayed to daughter atoms, or they flipped over during each trial. So this is an approximation. You just put a number in here. You don't have to put the percent symbol. Okay, and then based on the M&M experiment video, what is the half-life of an M&M? Um, and then some other questions relative to that video. And then this last part here is putting that all together. So this is taking relative and absolute dating and kind of combining them. So here you're going to use these stratigraphic columns that I've made. All of these are just different rock units, and there's specific units labeled for you. 
and then there is a dinosaur and a couple of the units. Okay, so first question, knowing that dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago, which isotope in the table one would be most useful to date layers A and B? So you want to find a half-life that covers 65 million years, and then that would be your answer. Okay, and then things like this, you've dated a layer, or a couple of layers, and you want to know if it's older or younger than a particular layer. Can you say that C and D are a particular age if you did not date them? So that's basically what this question is getting at. Or would you assign it a range of ages? Okay, is a dinosaur older and younger? Older or younger? Some more questions about that. And the last two questions just kind of get you to uh, realize the difference between relative and absolute. Relative is using other surrounding objects or surrounding rock units to tell you how old or young something is and then absolute is when you can actually age date it using the chemistry of the rock okay so hopefully hopefully this video helps you and i will see you guys in the next one bye